And we are reviewing top stories, making headlines. A big thank you to Franco Trading Enterprise. Still, phone papa pa fee. Betway, you always get way more with Betway. And Mr. Keda is still here in the studios. Now, I see a lot of comments coming in. A lot of them. Oh, shout out to Fifi Pratt. Ah, uh, guy. Okay. He says, bro, this will be one of my favorite, though. Charlie, in voice on track, so be unique, bro. Hey, Fifi. The Supercharger, what's up? That name's a video. You still don't use them. I, I know, I know. I should say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Bisa, welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then welcome. Thank you, Come gentlemen. here, welcome. Mr. Thank Ghost. you, Andy. Mm -hmm. Now, Ruta, I spoke with DJ Slim last week, and he made mention of the reason hip life or the hip life genre took a nosedive in the early 2000s. According to him, musicians and producers were too focused on competing with another one another. He said this in an interview with DJ Slim last week on Daybreak. Yes, check this. The reggae from Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana. Wait, listen to the reggae artists from those places. Eh? Some of them sound sweeter than Jamaica. Mm -hmm. But we attribute the whole thing to Jamaica. And see, if we had been smart enough to realize that what JQ had given us was something that we could send to the world because it was original to us. And we found a way to promote it, project it, like improve, uh, build upon that foundation that JQ introduced. And Kaibia, just as South Africa has created Amapiano and Nigeria for uh, Diafano, maybe would have created something that the world would have been clamoring for by now. Mm -hmm. You see, maybe the Ghanaian sound would have been something out there globally that everybody's biting from, and it would be attributed to Ghana. This so, in my opinion, that's mm. where we made a mistake. Okay. Thinking that was a competition. Okay. This competition thing, I think I've mentioned this before. <laughs> the, the, the only thing is the hip life. Then we started hearing, what, hip dia. <laughs> Yeah. India for no, no. Then we had uh, G pop, G pop, hip count. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had that one. You had hip count, Caesar, Caesar. Yeah, yeah. hip count. Then a <laughs> hey, contemporary. No, no, C O T, please. Ah, okay. No court. Contemporary. Count. Oh, okay. C O N T. Oh, okay. Contem. Oh. The word is not contemporary. It's contemporary. And they. Me if you say contemporary. Eh, I need a count. The most, for me, what I didn't understand and the most regrettable of them all was when Reggie Rockstone himself, who outdoed the hip life word, mm -hmm. came out to say he's coming up with something called Chiglish. Hey, wait a minute, Reggie. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. You, you you birthed something amazing that that has fed millions of Ghanaians. I say beside you know can remix. No. I, I hear remix a Kumo original song. No? So could it be that the visionary for somebody like Reggie also lost his way? Is this something that no one is talking about? I think I have to ask him. One of these days. Yeah. Anyway, Kwame, do you agree with... No, let me, let me start with Bisa. Mm -hmm. Bisa had been here. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the competition. You know, I, I think personally, no disrespect to anybody, but I think we are in competition with our own selves and our minds. You understand? We have it. We have hip life. We have high life. What else do we want? It's just that when we see something from outside and people are, you know, as they didn't know from outside that, we want to join. Mm. But we are forgetting that we have something that we can push to get to that stage as well. So people can mention us. Me and me, the American say, like, no disrespect again, but I think we complain too much. Okay. Instead of finding the solution, mm. what they are saying. So with this hip life, high life thing, that's what I've been preaching about, like, the whole time. What's the solution? Maybe I may say, 
Minyayanka, Mr. VGM, we should create more categories because at the end of the day, right now, think about it. What would push a, young, a younger uh, like person to do high life. high life or hip life? Think about it. And it says, I have a lot of Afro beats. Now, I have a lot of Afro beats. But the awards came there by the national hip life category. Hip life, hip life, hip life. What do you think will happen? Everything is perception, bro. 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 Everything I have a lot of people contacting me, especially from their managers. Boss, ah, no, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think this song, it be high life or it be hip life or it be so hip hop? So, so, yes, so that's where the problem comes in because we've it's like we've lost, we've really lost our identity. Say, say, yeah, yeah, you're not the be a tag in your no, would it make a video? I like a lot of times because. The, no, uh, no, no. TGM. 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 You, you love V. You love yeah, V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because me, not me So So let's say we put something down that okay, this is this is it. ABR and you screening. This is what you've done. What I say? We should we should um try and start checking about like your censorship boards in this and your manner. We should take some of the things serious. Ebema, like the young, they be America, the young ones, and because they see, I know, so, Oko Internet, no, so, and Afrobeat is trending. I'm a piano is trending. Now, yeah, you know, so are you targeted as I'm a piano or Afrobeat? What did I say? But if it's there, said, this is what we are doing. This is what we are taking from Ghana. Obia, you know, so better again, say, hip life. What did I say? And I high life. So, we, we should, I mean, the complaint, I was here to complain, it's okay, and then focus on building the structures of hip life and high life. Mm. Yeah. Yes, Kwame. Andy, I remember that Hafko even also <coughs> made this point that the TGMA should make high life, the high life song of the year, the biggest award of the night. Yes. Uh, I think it's in tandem with what Mr. Kede is saying. Uh, as to whether this will be considered, it's another thing altogether. But to the whole hip life conversation, uh, last week on the show, I remember telling DJ Slim that some of the words that Ruta used, I didn't really like them because he said, like "No, he said uh, hip life had been buried, it was dead, and all that." And I thought it was too harsh, it was too severe for the state of hip life. Music has gone through evolution, changes over the years, and even before we had high life music, there there were so many traditional music forms and there still are and uh, sorry, sorry l- let me let me please yeah. please hold on for me do you have musicians who you think yeah. are royals or or claim the royalty of hip life now no n- not really so could it Th- not there be there safe are a few. for him to say he said where i mean now no but, but that's okay. why i asked him now okay. so so let, let me come for there. instance mr kedek mm. and cts yes, i'm a highlight musician i yeah. do high life and yeah. yes, you can give him all I the accolades. Prince of High Life, I, King I saw of a High video Life, whatever. Of Kim Paluta answering some questions to, I think, the Port or something, something. And they were asking, asking him, um, Afrobeat or hip life? He said hip life. Um, a few, a few of these people identify as hip life artists, but you see, because of the marketability of the Afrobeat, most of these people who still do hip life want to identify as Afrobeats because in the definition of Afrobeats is a word for sounds from Africa. So they want to hide under the umbrella and market their craft. Could it also be that they are just shy? They are that, so, yes. Or they are yes. shameful exactly. to be a part of I remember it. speaking to Chame Kwame and he mentioned some of them, uh, the reason they don't want to associate themselves with hip life now is because maybe they think it's outlived its relevance. But Naming or claiming the name is one thing and practicing the act is another thing. Are they really doing hip life? Most of them are still doing hip life. Most of them. Because if you look at the hip life uh, concept from the beginning, Reggie Rockstone at a point in time wrapped English over be- uh, high life beat. Keep your eyes on the road. Mm-hmm. At a point in time, to boy, hip hop beat. And then, but 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 hip life is not only about I'm coming. Rap or, so I'm I'm just uh, in that case, talk, talking drums exactly. Who started? They they started rapping before even 
Yeah. We, we heard of Reggie. Yeah. They, they were doing I, English, I'm, I'm right? building a point. So I'm saying that there are people who are doing either concepts now. Some are still rapping over uh, drill beats and all that. And they want to be called something else. You go to hip hop world and we have crank, we have drill, we have grime music. And the, all these are sub genres of hip hop. Right. They are still there. But in Ghana, the moment we see a new thing coming up, we want to sideline the old one. So even though I believe that the hip life, attention on hip life had dwindled, it didn't die. Most people had interest in different fields. Others wanted to experiment with rhythms. Even before, even Reggie Rockstone was experimenting. Mm. And if you don't experiment with rhythms, genres can't grow. That is why Bisakede would try to do a high life song, but mix it with some different genre a bit. Now, and sounded different like crap because you see, people don't want to listen to the same thing all the time. So I, I don't fault people who want to do experimentation. But as Bisa said earlier on, what is ours? The true DNA should always stand out. And if we are having musicians in Ghana who say they do high life, hip life music, who don't want to claim the tag, but in the sense of the word, whatever they are practicing is hip life. It means the genre is not dead. But because of marketability, they don't want to be linked to the genre. So me, what I think we can do is to increase the interest in people, one. Also make How sure do you that, do that? This is, that... This is a very good topic. Yeah. Increase the, the interest. interest in the How people. solution, Bisa mentioned. Mm. Yes. I think linked to... That would be a topic in, for another conversation. That, that's right. Yeah. So linking... Bisa mentioned solution. Mm -hmm. You are talking yeah. about whipping up the interest... interest then what? I think what we are doing is one of them. Sometimes Some people are not educated enough in the music uh, circles. Somebody wants to get into music and all he knows is, okay, I can sing, I can rap. But through some of these you know, conversations, they get to know, okay, even the craft that I am doing right now, even though I think it is this genre, this is what it is, maybe we can have festivals like High Life, uh, High Life Festival, Hip Life Festival, when you have those brands running in the system, people still know that we have genres like this still in existence. But I believe as a people, because we always love new things than the older ones, we tend to shelve them. So hip life has been in high life in Concorda. Meanwhile, even the high life that came, we had different types of high life. Boga high life, we had Kwao, we had Odonso, we had the big band, we had all these various styles. Same with hip life. Crank came, Azonto came. Then we've, we have the drill, Ghanaian drill for Asaka people. They are all various sub genres of hip life. So we shouldn't kill the bigger parent mm. when the new ones are sprouting. Right. I think that if we continue doing that, we will still keep the main genres as the smaller ones. But the moment we see the younger ones sprouting, we want to kill the parents one. It's not possible. Like right. That. Yeah. Uh, George, George Britton says, good morning, Andy. The interest has dipped because we expect our highlight songs to sound like the 80s and 90s. We need to introduce a new sound that you will hear elements of it in there, not necessarily sounding like the OGs. And this is yeah. from Judge Britton. Hmm. Yeah. Adam, Bremwe. Well, I think that uh, <coughs> I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't entirely agree with uh, what uh, Utai said. Because when it comes to disunity, it shouldn't be the, the only reason for for the brand to to dip or something of that sort. Because hip hop is one of the, the, the genre with a lot of disunity. I mean those days, you know the East Coast, West Coast, but still the the genre was running to the extent that it was able to even cross over to other parts of the world. Where you, you go to other parts of the world, Zimbabwe, Russia, even Ghana, people have hip hop as part of, I mean, music they do in their country. So it shouldn't be necessary. Uh, I mean, blame that the disunity. I think that <laughs> I think that what we, we we failed to what we failed to look at was evolution. I mean, that is we need to accept that for a very for a brand to to be able to stand the test of time, there should be that kind of reinforcement. There should be that kind of uh, adjustment. And 
it boils down to evolving. So that is the bit we missed. You know, we, we did not evolve. And I mean, time passed us by. And that's why we are at this point. So at this, at this very juncture, we need to look at evolution, how we can evolve and still keep the name and ensure that that brand name is boldly inscribed on the evolutions which will be coming out from, from them. So hip life is still there. All it needs is it needs to evolve and we will be fine. Those who were part of the, the Jenna should should still I mean be seen as part and should show interest in order for, for the brand to still stay alive. I mean we, we need to have a lot of documentaries because these are some of the things young generation will come and pick and build on. Because if you do not have those documentaries, if you don't have those facts about the Jenna, how do we evolve? So we, we need them to bring a lot of things together in order for us to build on as part of the evo evolution of the Jenna. Andy, TGM still has a category for hip life. Yeah. And almost every, yes. every year, mm. there are people nominated. Mm. Yeah. So we have hip life musicians. That's why there. I asked you. <laughs> so I was I was expecting you to at least mention no, it. But, you couldn't mention no, even no, one. No, no, but, but I've got in the likes Andy. of... Uh, uh, Andy, uh, they, they the may not call example, themselves example, like that, but when, when they are nominated, they come for the award. <laughs> <laughs> they, they may not call themselves hip life artists. When 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 they get nomination, they come for the award. On when nomination, on when not black if we need hip life artist of the year this year, TGME. Yeah. Uh, hip life hip hop artist. No, no, he, oh, he, he, he is. He life. Yes, but maybe on a, on a normal day, he will say he's inclined towards high life or maybe something else or maybe Afrobeat. Maybe. But you see, he won. Maybe in, maybe in, in he, that year, yeah, he he, he, he did more hip life songs. Yeah. Yes, yeah. But to TGMA, he is in that category, hip life hip hop artist of the year, and he won it. You know, Bisaké Day, uh. at a point he was a rapper. Yes, we know. And he did hip life songs. Yeah, mm. you, you know, you know, even Azonto Goes even won say, hip life song of the year. Azonto Goes won hip life song of the year. We can't even say Bisaké Day is a hip life artist. He can't even say he's a hip life. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not, you see, that it's, is hip-life, hip but that's not what I'm trying to push. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what you're pushing. Yeah. So, but but if you release songs, uh, that are, if you release a song, for example, My Level, I know My Level mm -hmm. yeah. was High Life. Yeah. Meanwhile, the producer of the song was not a High Life, life artist. artist. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So for you, mm -hmm. you could do a, a, a rap. rap song. You remember over over you are yeah. rapping i oh, do yeah. all day yeah. 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 all, all of them rap in there yeah. kojamji kojamji started rapping back in the day remember yeah. Oh, yeah. nice and slow he was rapping mm -hmm. in there yeah so if we were talking about rappers at that year in that year i don't know but andy to uh, you what, uh, what led to that what led to what where we find hip life you, you were part of this story. I, I will explain tomorrow. Time uh, uh, on the library. <laughs> oh no, no, not on the library. No, this one no be like. Oh, you saw time. some of the things from the production side, DJs, musicians, all those key stakeholders. You saw all the things which happened within that space. Yeah, yeah. You see, there, there's a. Listen, it, it all comes. Some of the things George Britton was talking about, I agree absolutely. You see. Ruta mentioned something, but I expected him to go further. Listen, in Jamaica, which music are they known for? Bakupe, reggae. Mind you, at a point when Peter Tosh and the rest began, reggae was not even played on their radios. And so they were bashing the radio stations. Hey, you people sit here, we play all of, we record good songs, yet you don't promote us, you are promoting foreign songs, foreign songs. you are playing the white, they called it the white man music. music. Until radio stations decided that let's promote our own. That was what solidified reggae music in Jamaica. Okay. When you go to Jamaica, they have one sound, they've championed reggae. Unwaka, unwaka isa. Mm. What are we championing? In Ghana, competition. That's it. As of now, no kind. We be any obi mu, and that was, in fact, still that is our problem today. Someone is doing dance hall. Someone is doing Afro dance hall. Next day, tree glitch. Next but day, tree pop. The Americans do dance hall as well. They do, but what are they championing? Okay, it's reggae. It's, the championing you're talking yes, about. The it's I think it's, it's it's just because of our system. If we have a proper system, and we say we are doing hip life and high life alone. 
everything would change. And Ghana piano. Ghana piano. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they, are, they are no swabba Can you imagine? Ghana piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You because everybody can just wake up and say they've created their own genre. That's wrong. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And even you in Jamaica and even in Jamaica, and no, near there, na eha reggae no. Because yeah. even when the young ones also came up with yeah, dancehall, speak, speak with, um, listen to Bounty Killer, yeah. Ninja Man, and the rest, yeah. even Buju. And all of them will tell you that when dancehall came, it was competing heavily with reggae music yeah. and wanted it, they wanted to bury it. But reggae is the king's music. It can't be buried. Yeah. And we have to champion high life. Let's make a lot of noise about it. Yeah, we need to. Oh. But creativity also Charlie, tries, someone has won my money. Freedom, so. Someone has won my money. Someone has won. Into one day, new one, meet me, I'm going to 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 meet me, Thank you, thank you, thank you. My favorite radio presenter. I always listen to you every morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you so much. What was going to This is Pits.